Noob noob, I heard this next video was about boobages and bullets. I just want to plunder Alicia Bicander's tomb. But she's old and dusty. Just like Angelina Jolie. End quote. Repeat line. Just like Angelina Jolie. <laughs> We literally just got through the hardest intro that Noob's ever had to do. Yeah. Too busy chucking. <laughs> He's too busy. Chucking he all over the yard. He's up chucking. Like Tom Brady. All over. He <laughs> just chuck it anywhere I like to he use wants. a spear sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're here to talk a little bit about Tomb Raider. That's right. Your favorite heroine and I, maybe not China White, but it's pretty close to my favorite heroine. Oh, we'll be shit by Canada, though. Mm. Those tiny tits. <laughs> she was crushing those fishermen in that video. She looked good in that. There was like a little, there was one scene where she showed a little bit of stomach. I'm like, I'm in. You were in. I'm I in. never watched it, never have had the interest because it's just eh. So the anticipated sequel to Tomb Raider, not Tomb Raider 2, but Tomb Raider 2, is. Alas, seems like it's not going to happen. Hollywood studios are, are in a feeding frenzy after MGM loses the film rights. Didn't Amazon just buy MGM? Yeah, How do they Amazon, lose the rights? Yeah, why doesn't Amazon have the rights? That seems pretty foolish. They could have hired Anna de Armas and boom, sexy raider. <laughs> sex raider? Yeah. Instead of raiding tombs, she's raiding sex. Well, it looks like MGM no longer has the rights to the film, the film rights to the gaming franchise. The studio, which recently sold to Amazon, had until May to greenlight a sequel to their 2018 film starring Alicia Vikander. That window has passed. That seems foolish. They should, yeah, I don't understand. They should have just greenlit a sequel. Lower the budget. It was a good movie. Like, I enjoyed it. It wasn't great, but it was watchable. Was it worth the price of admission? Uh, yeah. I, I bought it. I watched it several times. What several times? I don't know. More twice. Than once? Twice. twice. I watched it twice. Well, uh, Alicia Vikander is now in limbo. She's doing the limbo because she don't know if she has a film anymore. The 2018 film Vikander made nearly $275 million at the box office off of a $94 million budget. Does that surprise you? Uh, I mean... Well, if you factor in, like, marketing and all that shit, like, how much did it actually make a profit? But it was still profitable. It didn't lose money. Usually the rule of thumb is double the budget yeah. in, 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 in marketing. So maybe it costs, like, 180 to $200 million. So they made $90 million or something. I mean, that's okay. It's enough, I would yeah. think. And then if people liked it, like, people seem decent for the reception. That's The sequel could have done, you know, three, four hundred million. I think the problem is that the planned sequel to the 2018 film was uh, supposed to be with Lovecraft Country showrunner Misha Green. Nope. In the director's chair. Hard pass. Yeah, because she got fired because Lo sucking. Lovecraft Country did not get renewed for a season two. So she I sucks. think that killed the entire project. Uh, the Tomb Raider project will need a complete reboot with no casting or director commitments. It's open season on Hollywood on who controls the future of Tomb Raider. It made uh, uh, it was a modest success, but there was a 2001 and 2003 films with Angelina Jolie and that Laura Croft role grossed $432 million with a combined uh, combined off of a $115 million and $95 million budgets respectively. That's pretty good. Yeah, they did pretty good. The yeah. second one had Gerard Butler. Yeah, I believe it. I, believe I, agree I mean, I think the first one was okay. The second one got a little a little nuts. I mean, on Rotten Tomatoes, the first one does not look that good. I have not seen it since it originally came out, so I have no idea. I feel like she had really big lips and really big bosoms. She did. She, like, literally looked like the 90s video game character, so it was pretty yeah, on point. I'd agree with that. Alicia Vikander did not. But she it, did not. The Rotten Tomato critic scores at 20%, and the audience score has at 47% at 250,000 reviews. What's the Vikander one? Okay. I think it's just called Tomb Raider, right? Or Boob Raider. She doesn't have boobs, so. Not Boob Raider. 
55%. She looks a little uh, concerned there. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, it was decent. The Rotten Tomato score has it at uh, pretty equal between critics and audience, which is closer, you know, 2018 before all the critics lost their brains. Let's look at uh, Tomb Raider 2. Cradle Raider. in Time. Raider. The Cradle of Life. Cradle of Life. Cheeseburger. 44%. Yeah. Isn't that, is that not better? Look at that outfit she's wearing there. That's a lot. What would you take, Alicia Vikander or Andrew? Alicia Vikander. Really? Yeah. That's out. You are a fool. She's Swedish. This is exotic. What's Angelina Jolie? White. (laughs) What? (laughs) What is the white devil? What? The white devil? She is a white devil. Hey, hey, people. A, uh, I don't know. It has some sensuality in it. Who knows? I'm pretty sure if you had to rank the Vicander one that had zero sensuality uh yeah she didn't like they didn't play to her strengths her sensuality strengths I mean she well she's okay looking like she's she's decent but uh-huh. I mean I don't know she got a little little flapjacks but I, it, little flapjacks the, butt the best Did you part say she is a flapjack she butt? does have tiny flapjacks the best butt. part of this movie is that it basically steals scenes from the rebooted games and just does them pretty oh, well. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it like it takes good scenes. It from adapts the games. the games a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I liked it. I enjoyed it. As being a fan of those games and seeing that on screen, I'm like, they did that very well and it was faithful. Well, apparently back in May, Embracer Group acquired the Tomb Raider game development developer crystal dynamics and all concern connected ip from square enix for 300 million i didn't realize square enix just like up and sold it so that's kind of interesting uh vikander showed promise in the Lara Croft role but as if a married life and a child didn't already confirm it her window as the character is officially over oh, that's yeah. rude i'd say that is sexist and bigoted Bring her back. Bring her back. She could be a mammy. Bring back Angelina and the baby. Jolie and Grandma Alicia and Black Mama. Mary. Bring yeah. them back. Breastfeed everyone. All across. All across. Family cross. I'd still rate Angelina home. Jolie's tombs. Brad Pitt one. Never right. again. Yeah. Never again. Although she just keeps adopting kids. Like, you need to stop. Does she, though? I don't know. Does she have, like, four or five, like, after kids? 18. She is 18. She likes them. Wasn't she a director for a little bit, too? Yes. Yeah. And Maybe yeah. she should direct the, the next movie with Alicia Vikander. No. And then Anna to Armas comes and kills Alicia Vikander and takes and over the mantle. Takes over her role. Yeah. Perfect trifecta. I don't know Let's that sell I Sell Hollywood. Sell it. The idea is for sale, just like the right. So, what do you think... Down below in the comments, do you are you excited for? Would you like to see Angelina Jolie reprise a role? Nope. Would you like to see Alicia Vikander reprise a role? Maybe. Would you like to see Anna de Armas reprise the role? Yes. Would you like to see who's that girl who's like in every single Google commercial on my phone? What? It's like Google. What's that song? Everybody. I no, I don't know. What she had. The, remember, she had the film. Is she famous? Yes. But she's like Instagram or TikTok famous. And she was with the kid from Karate Kid. Uh, you love the movie because you love date movies. Oh my gosh. What is shit. That? I kind of know what you're talking about. Yeah, she's like a girl. I'm glad <laughs> she's a girl. I don't know what she does. Everybody. No? Yeah. yeah she's yeah, not yeah. really a. Uh, Everybody. Your Backstreet Boys, I get that. Yeah, you get the Backstreet Boys reference, but do you get the? Uh, she's like a TikTok star. Uh, I'm gonna look up like the most famous TikTok stars right now. It's not gonna be her. T- why not? She's a giant TikTok star. She's in. Oh, um, shit. She a little tub. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Adria, nope. Fuck. Nope. Addison Ray. There we go. Addison there you Ray. go. Would you in the comments below? No. Like Addison Ray. No. I think she could do it. I don't want. I believe. She's not rating anything other than a Be- fridge. Believe in Addison Ray. She's not <laughs> rating. No, no, no. She's rating my fridge. Yeah. Good luck buying enough for her. 
<laughs> anyway, <Everybody's> hungry. <laughs> be, be sure to like and subscribe. Share this video amongst all your friends because we need to understand what are we going to do with Tomb Raider? Does anyone have big enough boobages to make this happen? Anyway, catch our full-length audio podcast. It is free everywhere you can catch podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those great places. You can also watch us live stream it 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday nights. Because if you do not like and subscribe, Noob Noob may do this. I will get an African blow dart, hit you with it, you will pass out. You will wake up tied into my sex dungeon. With Addison Ray. Where I will have a spear with a dildo. And I will chuck that spear. Oh my god. Right stop. in your booty hole. What is wrong with you? And you will not be able to defend yourself. Cheeks spread open. It's gonna hurt, but you're gonna like it. You're gonna question your sexuality. Nope. You're gonna have to go back to your parents and tell them that you're a Catholic boy, not knowing where you want to go in life. Then your priest will denounce you. You might become homeless. Will you get disowned by your parents? Probably. But God will still love you anyway. Because he does. That's what I'm willing to bring you. Your true identity. If you don't subscribe. So. But if you do subscribe, he'll do the exact same thing. Still. No, he won't. If hey. you subscribe, he won't do it. Most likely. Whatever gets us the sub, honestly. Just sub. Yeah. It helps. Anyway, uh, we love all y'all. And we are out to the next one. Ah.